name is Misha, aka the Silky Savage, and I work for Building Beats. We are a music education nonprofit that teaches music production and DJing to youth at after school programs, community centers, and homeless shelters in New York City. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a reggae rhythm using Soundtrap. So, a rhythm is pretty much just the instrumental or the beat component of any reggae tune. And its intention is to be used by MCs, singers, or toasters uh, in a variety of fashions. So the producer of a rhythm will expect the same beat to be used a bunch of different times. Sort of similar to uh, mixtape style in hip hop. So I'm going to pull it up right now on my downloads. The Steppers beat. All right, now let's break down each component of that in Soundtrap. So as you can see, I only really have four main tracks going on here uh, and three special effects or dub tracks. So first off, we have our drums. Now the reason that this beat is called Stepper's Beat is because of the specific pattern that I've created for the drums. Um, so steppers is a popular style of, of rhythm uh, that most of you probably are familiar with through Bob Marley's song Exodus. Um, and it denotes a four on the floor drum beat. Now, the rest of the pattern is pretty simple. I have a rim shot on the three. I also have another one on the and of four for effect. And then I have eighth note hi-hats. Uh, and then throughout the actual, uh, the actual kit, in the actual pattern, I have a couple of um, effects that are created by using the actual snare as opposed to the rim shot for fills. And then I have some crashes going on, like right here. We have more, more snares. And I usually like to do this at the end of every four or eight phrases. Um, and then, exam for example, here I have my toms and an open hi-hat going into the final chorus. Uh, and then I have at the end, the drums just copying the rhythmic figure that the bass and the organ are. Okay, so that pretty much covers the drums. As far as the sound is concerned, I'm using an acoustic drum kit. So I'm using Sound Soundtrap 70s drum kit. And all I have is just a little bit of reverb uh, using the room plugin. Okay, next is the piano, and this is just a regular grand piano, um, and it only occurs during the two choruses. So um, we have one, we have the skank or the chop, so that pretty much means that the rhythmic figure has the piano chopping or skanking on two and four, um, and the chords are just F major to E flat, major. Um, and, 
And this is a pretty typical uh, one to flat seven. And yeah, it's very simple. And it just happens during the two choruses. Um, and all I really have on this piano is I have a little bit of effects. I have a little bit of reverb on it, but I also have a filter to take off some of the high end and a dynamic compressor so that the chops are a little punchier. Okay, now underneath that I have this, it says clean sub, that's our bass track. So the bass track in the beginning just is doing a call and response to the organ melody, as you can see. Okay, and then once it hits our actual chorus, we have a, a fairly busy bass line, and it's okay. In reggae, your bass lines are totally cool being a little bit busy. Uh, as you can see, we have two eighth notes, four sixteenths, two eighths, and the pattern repeats itself. And all that is, is F, C, B flat, E flat, C, F. So it's one, five, four, flat seven, five, one. And then that pattern is pretty much the same during the verse. And all we do is chop off sorry all we're doing is chopping off the E flat C to round us back out so it's pretty much just one five four um, and then at the end of the verse we have it going to the, the C mm -hmm. and then at the end we have it mirroring what it was doing at the beginning now um, the beauty of this is that in reggae bass, you really just want to have a very sub heavy. So beneath 110 Hertz frequencies of sound. So that, that pretty much means I'm just cutting. I have a pretty aggressive cut. So if you can see on my bass, I have a high cut. That's about 764 Hertz. If I wanted to go more aggressive, I could. Um, I'm cutting out a little bit of the lows there just so that it doesn't rumble and sound all muddy but you really want to be focusing on your 40 to 110 hertz range uh, because when this is played out on speakers, you want people to really feel it in their chests and vibrate the entire room. Okay, um, the last rhythmic component that we have at play here is the organ sound. So the organ sound, in the beginning, it's doing like a little melody as a call, as a response to the uh, bass. Okay, cool. And now what it's doing rhythmically is very similar to what the piano is doing. Once again, we have that chop. But as you'll see that I have the root notes, so the uh, F and the E flat, on the off beats. And in reggae, this is referred to as the bubble, the gugaku, gugaku. Um, and it's just supposed to complement the chop and reinforce it. Um, and then when it actually comes to the verse... It's doing exactly what the piano was doing during the choruses, uh, just so that I can create a difference in dynamic. And you'll notice that I have some automation on there. Uh, all it's doing is panning back. So if I go over here to my automation, you'll see that I'm panning back to the other side. I have it centered during the verse, and then it's pan, panning back uh, opposite the piano. Because I have the piano over here in the left, and I want to have my organ panned back to the right when it comes back to the verse. So there you go. You can see. Boom. We're living in paradise. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so that's it for the rhythmic uh, harmonic elements that we have going on. The only other thing we have is in reggae we like to have a lot of effects or dubs as they're called. Um, and I have three going on. I have the, the same piano, I have the chord, but I have it running through some delay, so I have, it's the same piano, you can see I have the slap back and then a stereo delay. And 
Then we have the melodica, which is like the little blowable, you can blow into it. It's the hand piano. It was made popular in reggae by Augustus Pablo. And I have that doing the same thing, pretty much just a little bit of delay so you can hear it uh, right here. Exactly. It's just like sort of a little ornamentation. So in reggae, we use these elements to create um, an atmospheric effect. And then the last effect that I have going on right here is this SFX sweep, which I just took from Soundtrap's library. And all it is is this sweep effect with a little bit of delay on it. So... Really cool. Um, so that's pretty much it. And it's a relatively simple rhythm and it's pretty easy for anybody to pick up. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking out this how-to video. Once again, my name is Misha, aka The Silky Savage with Building Beats. You can check us out online at buildingbeats.org and we're on all social media, including Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Building Beats. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe if you dug this video and stay tuned if you want to check out some more Soundtrap how-to videos.